we go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Out on the water today. It's been a long time since I've been out on the water. Haven't got to fish very much here locally um, this year, basically. It's April, and I've probably only fished a couple days out here at my local lakes. I'm looking forward to getting out here. Looking forward to being able to go fishing and uh, hopefully catching some fish. Um, I literally only probably caught or only fished a couple days um, total in 2024 out here at home. And then other than that, it was just Lake Shasta and uh, that river trip that I made really early, early on in the year. So I'm looking forward to going fishing. I haven't gotten to fish very much. Um, I hope you guys have been liking the content since um, since the year began. It's been a little bit different, but uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Now, since I haven't been going out here very much, I don't really know what the bite is. I imagine they're up shallow because it's April, but I'm not 100% sure. Water temps are a little bit all over the place so far this morning. I saw some 50s, but now I'm looking at it and I see 60, so I, I don't know. But they should be up shallow, so we're gonna try that first, and if not, then we'll start moving offshore, but you know, I gotta go find them. I gotta find that bite and just gotta go find some fish to catch. So the first thing that I'm gonna do this morning is just try to cover some water up shallow with some reaction baits, and then just kind of go from there and just see what's working. Uh, we got some brush in the water, some flooded brush, and a lot of times that means the spinnerbait bite should be there. You never know until you start throwing it. So I'm not gonna live and die by the spinnerbait, but we're gonna give it a little honest shot here this morning. Um, pulling up into an area where these fish should be going to spawn here pretty soon. So hopefully we can get something going pretty quick and have a good day. That didn't take long. Stay on there, fish. Spinnerbaiter. Ooh, a little decent one. Decent one to start off the morning, guys. There we go. A little two and a half or probably. It's a fun way to catch them, guys. I love fishing the spinnerbait. Spinnerbait's so fun. You just pull up to spots, check it out, chuck it out there, slow roll it back, and catch little ones like this. And you can catch big ones too. Well guys, that did not take long. First spot, first few casts, got ourselves a bite. There should be fish up shallow. I don't know if that's the best way to catch them right now, if that's the way to catch the biggest fish right now. Not 100% sure, but like I said, I haven't been fishing in a while, so the main thing is that I just wanna be out here catching some fish. If we can catch big ones along the way, that's always good, but I just want a few to pull. There we go. There we go. That one hit right off the bat. Not a big one, but still fun. There we go. There we go. Another one on the old spin a bait. Not bad, little guy, but still fun. Well, so far so good with the old spinner bait. I thought the bite was gonna be a little better when I caught one so quick with the spinner bait, but we haven't been fishing very long. We've already got a couple bites, so that's good. But I thought like we'd be able to go to like every spot and get bit doing it and just cover water, but it doesn't seem to be that good. But like I said, we haven't been here very long and we've gotten a couple bites. So hopefully when we get it around all these trees and all that, There'll be a bunch of fish hanging around them and uh, we'll get consistent bites just kind of covering water, you know, kind of flipping this thing around up against these trees. There we go. There we go. Another one. This one feels like a little bit better one. Stay on. There we go. There we go. Not bad. A little two and a half for again. Not a giant, but he might go three. I'm not sure though. Not bad. 
fun way to catch them on the old spinner bait. They're up shallow. They're not on this outside stuff, I don't think. I think they're kind of up in this flooded grass. So these last couple of fish I caught, I think are up in this flooded grass. I don't know how well you guys can see it on camera, but there's like this grass that's growing on the bank. And a lot of this is all flooded, as you can see, all these trees and everything. And I think these fish are hanging up in that, in that grass rather than in the brush. But it's hard to kind of tell because there's so much brush everywhere. But I'm pretty sure those last two fish came out of that grass rather than the brush. Guys, got to interrupt the video real quick to talk to you about Waterland Fishing Optics. Waterland Fishing Optics are the sunglasses that I'm wearing every day out on the water. Help me see into the water. Help me see those grass lines. They see help me see fish in the water, and they just flat out help me catch more fish. Head over to the Waterland Fishing Optics website. It's waterlandco.com. Use discount code LUNA15. They got awesome apparel, awesome sunglasses, and some brand new stuff that just dropped as well. They got a frame style that's going to be perfect for what you need and a lens color that's going to be perfect for what you need as well. Again, it's waterlandco.com. Use discount code LUNA15. So before the morning is over, I want to flip a little of this wood. So I rigged up a Texas rig, 3 8 ounce weight with this 6 cents prawn. Uh, the prawn just goes through this cover really, really well. And um, I'm hoping that this more compact, subtle profile of the prawn doesn't have as much action as everything else. Doesn't have like crazy claws or anything like that. I'm hoping that that more subtle action is going to get some bites because I have a feeling this whole area has been kind of pounded because of all the flooded brush. Um, unfortunately, all I got is 15 pound test in the boat right now. So we're just going to go for it. And if we get a big one, we may not get it in, but I'd rather try to get the bites than uh, worry about not flipping because I don't have heavier line. So if you guys are wondering why I decided to switch over to flip in for a second is because you never know if the flip bite is better than that spinnerbait bite. Yeah, we've gotten a few bites, but none of them are like real big or anything like that. So I figure let's just try this Texas rig. Let's just try flipping and uh, see what happens. And you know, maybe we'll get some four pounders or something like that, get a little bit bigger bite. Maybe it'll be a better bite. Maybe the flip bites wide open. So what I'm trying to say is, is that even though I found something where I've been getting bit, you just never know if there's anything better, especially since I haven't been out fishing a whole lot. I figured I gotta just give this a shot. That was rad. That was rad. The little one, but that was cool. That was cool. Tiny guy, but that, that was actually really fun. I flipped that thing in there, and that fish like was kind of like gnawing on it a little bit, and then it finally pulled, and I was able to just jack it. And uh, it, was, it was a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, guys, that was really. All right, guys, well, it's mid-morning right now, and the morning bite was decent. Caught a few fish this morning. Can't complain about that. Some spinnerbait fish, that one little flip fish. That flip one was pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie, even though it was little, but just the way it bit made it really fun. And flipping's always fun because you just get to yank on them and set the hook real hard. And you know, it's like hand to hand combat type fishing. But I moved out deeper and I'm gonna try to do a little bit of scoping out here because it's something I definitely need to get better at. Um, it, it just, it's changing the game. Um, did a little shallow stuff and uh, now I'm gonna try to. Improve my skills on the scoping stuff, so we're gonna give this a little bit, and if not, then we'll go back shallow, or we'll go find some rock piles and throw jig, Carolina rig, Texas rig, something like that. Heck yeah, that is so cool. That is so cool. That is cool, guys. Six inch juggle minnow. And this is a 316 ounce tungsten ball head. I sell these on Tackle Warehouse. 
but good little fish right there guys scope that thing this is so dumb but for whatever reason they eat it and you catch decent ones like that all right guys well we were able to catch one doing the scoping deal um i just need to get a lot better at this it's one of those things that i don't do enough of and it's something that i need to get a lot better at because it's a great way to actually catch quality fish year round um, it's not my favorite way to fish by far but it's actually a lot more fun than you'd expect once you actually start getting out here and, and doing it and catching a couple there we go that's a good one that's a good one Nah, uh, just there we go. Thought it was better than that. Thought it was better than that, but hey, take it. Another one scoping out here. That's a skinny guy. Skinny guy, you need to eat, brother. You need to eat. Another one. Well, we got a couple of them out here scoping with the six inch juggle tungsten ball head and guys i'll link everything down in the description of the video so that way if you want to get anything you can i started selling the tungsten ball heads myself on tackle warehouse um because this thing this has gotten so popular that i figure i might as well try to get in on the action and sell some they've been selling pretty good and as you can see they catch fish all right guys well it's lunchtime, and uh we got a couple of those scope fish which is pretty rad uh, it's just something I got to get better at. It's just, it's one of those things that if you're fishing tournaments like I am, you have to be able to do that. You have to be able to see those fish. You have to be able to cast to them. You have to figure out how to catch those fish. And it's winning tournaments here at home, which I as act, I was actually pretty surprised. And then once I kind of heard that through the grapevine, I was like, man, I got to, I have to just put the time in and get better at this. I'm already behind. I've had the technology for a long time, but um, I haven't taken advantage of it to its fullest potential. I know that, you know, four facing sonar and all that kind of stuff is kind of controversial, but if you fish tournaments, you pretty much have no choice but to fish it. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Went up shallow. Little chatterbaiter, little shad eater. Not bad. Got one on the chatter. Six inch juggle on the trailer on the chatterbait. Not bad. Well guys, I went up shallow because one, I literally see a fish right here up shallow. And uh, I just wasn't seeing a lot out there in the abyss of the forward facing sonar deal and man some of these fish are like dirt shallow i've seen some fish kind of bust on the surface and um, they're like on the bank as soon as i came up here up into the shallow water i could see bait and everything like that so there's definitely a bite up shallow i don't know what the best bite is out here right now but hey if i can go out and throw chatter bait and spinner bait and catch fish like that that's just fun there we go got him oh it's a good one cranking the rocks stay on stay on fish Stay on there. It's a decent one. Stay on, brother. Stay down. Oh! Well, well, that sucks. That definitely sucks. That was the best fish of the day. And that goes to show that I probably should have changed out my treble hooks because this has been sitting in my boat for a while 
after Shasta and I'm sure they're not very sharp and that's what happens when you don't have good treble hooks on there we go Carolina rig fish there we go get in the boat this time There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Carolina rig. Not bad, guys. The old six cents prong getting it done. Well, guys, you can definitely tell that it's springtime because we got fish up on the bank. We got fish mid depth and we got fish out deep. I've caught fish from 20 to 30 all the way up to right on the bank today. So we got bed fish. I saw one bed fish. I actually hooked it a couple times, but it came off. I didn't have it on camera, but we got everything from bed fish to fish in like 30 foot of water. So these fish are all over the place and you can kind of just junk fish, get bit. No giants today. That crankbait fish that I had that came off was probably the biggest fish that I had so far today. Uh, it looked like it was probably a four pounder or something like that, but I don't know exactly, but it was a good one. Well guys, it's a funky bite out here. We've caught a bunch of fish today, which is good. Uh, pretty fun trip out here. Got enough time for probably one more spot. But the bite's been funky for sure. Caught a bunch of different fish. Caught fish from 30 foot all the way up to the bank. Um, I saw bedfish today as well. I actually caught it a couple times, but it came off right by the boat. It was a little guy. I was just messing with it on the bed just to kind of see if he would go. But it was definitely on the bed. And uh, no female, just a small male but there's just fish all over the place. Definitely a junk fishing deal. The only difference that I see when these fish are going from the, from the deep water to the bank and the difference between the fall is that the fish are just much more active and much more willing to bite this time of year because you get the same kind of a condition in the fall when they're going up to the bank and then there's still fish out deep in the summertime. And then that time of year, it can get really, really tough. But so far, these fish wanna eat right now and that's normal for spring. Well guys, this is a prime example of when you haven't been to a lake in a while, you just got to start off with where you think the fish are going to be based on the time of year. I thought these fish were going to be shallow because it's April and typically our fish are going to be spawning either right now or any time now. So they should be up on the bank. Not every fish in the lake is going to be up there. As you guys saw today, I caught fish out deep and I caught fish up on the bank and I caught fish mid depth. So there's fish in all different depth zones out there right, right now, which makes sense. Um, caught a bunch of fish on the spinnerbait, caught a couple of them on the, the juggle and uh, caught a couple on uh, one on a crank, one on a one on a Carolina rig. So a lot of different stuff. Good day overall, had a lot of fun. And I even caught a chatterbait fish, which isn't normal for me here at home. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you wanna watch more of my content, make sure to click on the video that's on the screen right now, or click on that playlist that's on the screen right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.